All right, so now that I've explained, let me see real quick. Okay, now that I explained the knockback, now let me explain why we get knocked back to the left or right. So you can see from this diagram, thank you to, uh, it was on Reddit or Twitter, or whatever. Thank you, anyways. Uh, so we get to see here, we since we followed that center explosion and we use this as north, if we get knocked back to the right, we get to see here, we have not a lot of space because the third explosion is going to always, there's one explosion that's south when we get knocked back. So if we get knocked back, knocked back to the right or where the lights didn't aren't at, then we don't have that much space to work with. But if we get knocked back to where the lights are coming from the center, we have a lot more room to work with. Same thing here. This is an opposite uh, direction. It's going from the center to the left. And then we use this as north. And if we get knocked back, once the boss is here, if we get knocked back to the like left side, we have this much space to work with. But if we get knocked back to where the lights came from, then we have that much space to work with. So that's why we do uh, the knockback like that. So now I'm just going to talk about what you should be doing or what I've been doing during um, Triple APOC. So... Uh, just a little recap real quick. So, um, once you see, you look with your eyes where the center light's going to start and, uh, end. And during this time, you could also, uh, get out of the center because the first one's always going to explode first. So once we see it end on the, th uh, the third time or whatever, we want to be on the side where it intersects with the last three uh, lights we want to be on the side that isn't where the lights are because um the first one's always going to explode so it's pretty big but the second one is also very big too so if for example uh this is a bad line but if we are on this side here waiting we're going to get hit by this. So it's the same reason with dual APOC. But if we're on the right side right here and we don't cross that line, we're going to be safe from that second explosion every time. So same thing here. Whatever. Uh, if we're on... That's a bad... Let that, no, sorry. That's really bad. So if we're on this side of the line... When the second explosion goes off, we will be safe. And you don't have to move that much. So the first thing you do is you get out, you follow the light, and then you get off the center because it'll explode. And you can wait around right here on the side opposite of the line where the lights are. After the first light explosion goes off, then we move in just a little bit, and the tank will the tank will bait it basically where the last lights intersect. And then she will jump in afterwards. That's when we go back in. And then that's when we do the knockback. So uh, I'll show the videos again real quick. Oops, that's not right. So yeah, this one's pretty good. So, okay, yeah. Let's see. We started here. This video again. We follow the light. And we see it. We try to find where it um, ends. Oh, sorry. Where it turns. So since it turned to the right, the safe spot is going to be here. And we do not want to cross this line. This is a bad zone. But this is the good zone. We want to be... We never want to cross to into the line where the lights are. That's dangerous. It's very, very dangerous. So yeah. Uh, so... DPS and everyone, we wait outside of this giant circle because that will explode first, and that's bad, bad news. First explosion goes off. That's when the tank will bait around here at the very edge, and that's when we could go in a bit closer because uh, the tank uh, not the tank hit from the boss is pretty big. But uh, there's a way to do it without having to move that much too. So we go in a little bit, 
and then the tank the the, the knockback goes uh the tank hit whatever will happen and then the second explosion will happen so that's why we never want to cross the side where the lines are uh, the line we never want to cross this line where the lights are coming from because it explodes as long as we're here we're safe after we uh, move back a in a little bit, that's when we position for knockback, and that's the thing with the north, where it's either on the where the lights came from or where the lights are, or is it on the left or is it on the right? It's on the left side, so we get knocked back uh, around the left side of this boss. So uh, somewhere around here should be okay, and then we get knocked back, and then we are good. So yeah, this is. Um, there's another way to do it. I don't know if I, I'll just talk about it real quick. So after you can see from this, this is basically that tank hit that happens around the second time of the explosion. So it's around that big. So technically, you have this. You have if the tank baits it all the way to the edge, you have this safe pocket where you could basically stand. But if you're doing it on PF, I, I wouldn't advise doing that. I just advise just going in a little bit like around here, just in case the tanks, you know, somewhere here or yeah, if they're not at the edge. So I, after the first explosion goes in, uh, goes off, we go in a little bit and then the second explosion goes off, and then when the second explosion goes off, that's when we position for knockback, and then that's it. Last example. We're going back to this um, Sam video. Let's see. This is... No, that's terminal. Sorry. All right. So, because uh, you don't have to move too much for this, as long as you're on the safe side of the line. So, we look for the center light. It turned right. So since it turned right and ends here, we want to be on this side of the line. This side is bad because it will explode, but this side is this side is good. So, yep. Wait for the center explosion. It's huge. We go in just a little bit. Then knock back uh, the hit happens, then we get knocked back to the left because that's where the lights are. And yeah, that's that's basically it. That should be it.